Hello children, this is Ms. Sharon Savio and you will be learning English language today. Before we start, I would like to tell you that you quickly pause the video, go get yourself a notebook, a pen, a pencil, anything that you can write with because you have some work to do. Look around you. What do you see? I'm sure everything that you're looking at right now has a name. A chair, a table, any person that you know has a name, any place that you go has a name, anything that you use or even in any animal, everything has a name, everything around the world has a name. Today we're going to be learning about nouns. Let's take a look at this. A noun is a part of speech that names a person, place, thing, an idea or a quality. Look at the examples that you can see here. A person, a man, and the name of a girl, Steve, child, grandma, grandpa, they're all people. They come under the category persons. Place, Paris, city, school, home, Asia, space, kitchen. These are places. Animals, I'm sure we all know what animals are. Things, anything that we use or anything that we see. Examples, book, pencils, apples, flowers, diseases, a shoe or a cap. Now that we know what a noun is, let's look at the different kinds of nouns. I'm sure all of us already know that, but let's run through them quickly. There are five kinds of nouns. Common noun, proper noun, collective noun, abstract noun, and material noun. Looking into the details of a common noun. A common noun refers to the general name given to a person, place, animal, or thing. It can be anything and refers to things only in general. Look at the examples given here. A car, a girl, a dog, and a tar. Common nouns do not begin with capital letters unless they begin a sentence or are a part of a title. So remember that when you are writing that common nouns do not begin with capital letters unless they begin a sentence or are a part of a title. Next, a proper noun. Proper noun is a name given to any person, place, thing, or animal in particular or a specific name. Look at the examples that you can see on screen right now. The same car has a name, a beetle or any name for that fact. The girl is named Tiana whereas the dog is Roxy and the tar that you're looking at right now is the Eiffel tar. Remember that proper nouns are always capitalized no matter where in the sentence that you use them. They are also sometimes called proper names. So going forward when you're writing, remember wherever you're using a proper noun to ensure that you always write it in capital letters. Collective nouns. Collective nouns are names given for a collection or a number of people or things. For instance, if you want to name a particular kind or a group of things that you see that have a same category or a specific characteristic, then we have a term that we would use for it and that would be a collective noun. Look at your screen and you can notice examples of collective nouns. Few of them that you can see are a dynasty of kings, a tribe of natives, a draft of lecturers, a pack of thieves and so on. Words like group, herd, array, bunch, etc. and much more are all examples of collective nouns. Collective nouns will also not be written in capital letters as they appear in the middle of a sentence. Next, abstract nouns. Abstract nouns are words that express ideas, concepts, anything that one cannot see, touch, taste, smell. It is a feeling or a sense of experience. Look at the screen and follow the examples that you can see. Love, bravery, friendship, wealth, wisdom, courage, favorite, anger, these are all examples of abstract nouns. What you're sitting on? I assume it's a chair, a couch, a table, some of you might even be on your bed or on the floor. Now all these things are made up of something, a particular kind of material that might be used. So we are now going to look at the next kind of a noun which is a material noun. This noun refers to a material or a substance from which things are made. It can be silver, gold, cotton, wool, a particular material. For example, I love to wear silk clothes. Now, what kind of clothes do I love to wear? Silk clothes. So silk would be the material noun in that sentence. For example, protein is critical for energy. 
Now what is the material there? Protein. A wooden chair, a cardboard box, a glass tumbler, a gold chain, a brick house. Now these are examples of material nouns. Quickly going over the different kinds of nouns, there are five kinds of nouns. Proper nouns, common nouns, collective nouns, abstract nouns and material nouns. Now abstract nouns are things that we can't see, touch, taste, smell. Now every other noun, proper noun, common noun, collective noun and material noun are things that we can touch, see, taste, smell. Now these are concrete nouns. Any noun that you can touch, see, taste, smell would be a concrete noun. Abstract nouns are things that we can't. So these are the two categories of nouns. Look at your screen now is a worksheet with two exercises followed by worksheet two with three exercises. This is something that I would like you to do. It will help you know whether you've understood the topic if you're able to answer all these questions and you get them right you know that you're headed the right track and also something for those of you who've lost your touch with writing i know it's been long since you've held a pen all right ensure that you fill in these two worksheets and keep track of whatever you're writing thank you